By default, this tool will load up to show you any product group in your account that has a return on ad spend greater than 100%. Okay, so these are potentially all of your winners. Uh, you can also say, show me all of my product groups or show me the ones that are not making any money. From here, you see all of the ad groups and all of the product groups that correspond. And then you can say, well, because all of these are actually making profit, I want to increase my bids by some percentage. Once you update that, it puts the new CPC value in that right column right there. And then from here, you can still tweak it. So you can say this one should be 50 cents. And then it's not until you actually apply the bid changes that it will be sent into AdWords. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Now, the, uh, a couple of other things. You might say return on ad spend greater than 100%. That's not actually what I care about. I want to have a return on ad spend that's at least 500%. So you open up your custom filters, and let's make this 501%. By the way, the ranges, the numbers that you see in here, this is the upper bound. So for me to set it to you know, 200,000 would basically return no results because the highest return on ad spend we have in this account is at that level. By the way, when we have a fantastic ROAS, let's also make sure that that's at least based on two conversions. So let me apply that filter, close it out. Now you see we have 10 product groups that meet those conditions. Um, the return on ad spend is not visible right there, so let's turn that on right there so you can see what that's doing. Okay, so here we have these high return on ad spends greater than 500%, where the number of conversions is also greater than uh, two. So I can turn on my conversions to validate that we're looking at the right data. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how all of that works. So from here then you can of course submit these bids. Uh, once you build this filter, if you want to reuse that very easily the next time, you know, just go here and then save that filter. By the way, if you save the filter for your team, it means it will be available for you to use as part of a custom workout. So that's a really powerful feature where you can build your own optimization workflows using exactly your methodology. So that, uh, that happens right there. A couple of the options here on the left, obviously you can do this for different campaigns. You can change the date range we're looking at. You can also hide any product groups for which you've used this tool to change the bid in the last seven days. So if you've used this optimizer tool, you change the bid, you don't want to change it too frequently, you can automatically hide it. Um, if you make the bid change manually through AdWords, we do not pick up on that, right? So this is just changes made within this tool that we can hide. And then as far as the advanced settings, so uh, you might look at this and you might say, well, I don't really trust any data until it has at least 100 clicks. Okay, well, so you can do a cool thing. You can do a roll-up. When you do a roll-up, you can say, what metric are we rolling up and what's the level to which we're rolling it up? So let's say 100 clicks. It's refreshing all the data. Um, and now, let me actually go and take a look not just at return on ad spend being positive, but let me look at all my product groups and have them aggregated to at least 100 clicks. Okay, so what this dark blue ad group is showing me is that there's actually no individual uh, product groups with more than 100 clicks, but we've combined them. So we say there's 143 combined product groups, and if we combine them, then we get to 200 clicks. So maybe now you can make a bid management decision based on that commonality, the fact that these all were dark blue. Um, here is a more interesting example. So in the dark pink ad group, we can actually tell you that uh, stoles versus heels, we we were able to split that out because each of these subcategorizations now had enough data points for us to help you. Um, and because these are also slightly different products, now it's interesting because you can set different bids for those groupings. You can also click on these, uh, on some of these at least, and what we do in this case is we show you bid ranges. So because the bids for these dark pink stoles range from 21 cents to 44 cents currently, um, you may not just want to make one bulk bid change for all six of them. So we've split it out here and we say, well, there's actually three product groups bidding between 21 and 28 cents, and there's another three bidding at the 44 cent level. So maybe this one I'm going to increase a little bit, um, and this one I'm going to increase a little bit as well, but of course not everything is going to that 49 cent level. Now these lower current bids are staying at a lower current bid level. So that's how the roll-up works. 